everyone. This is a real special treat for us in studio this morning. A local New Jersey man is getting the attention of the Smithsonian. Jonathan Singer is his name. Unique pictures of flowers nearing extinction are just about to be put on display at the National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. Jonathan joins us this morning to show us uh, some of the works of art. Jonathan, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, really appreciate this. First, let's talk about the, the project is called Botanica Magnifica. That is correct. Explain to us how you came to do this. It was a, a work in progress and it evolved over a period of a few years. Started with my curator at the uh, New York Botanical Garden, uh, Mark Hatchaturian, and who kept feeding me the most beautiful plants from private collections. With that in hand, I went to the Smithsonian, uh, met with uh, Dr. Um, John Kress, senior curator and research scientist, and we went on to, uh, op he went on to open the doors of the Smithsonian Research Collection to me which had the rarest plants in the world. Have you always been fascinated with taking pictures of, of flowers and plants? Is I've always loved doing it. I lived out west and uh, loved the desert flowers and um, never seemed to do it right. I uh, went to uh, visit Ansel Adams out west and uh, I asked him, I said, Master, when do, you know you have, when do you know you've done it? And he said, hopefully one hour before you die. Hmm. So. Um, Anyway, I knew I did it one day, and it hopefully it was an hour before I died. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it wasn't. Uh, this is one of five books that, that will correct. be bound and put into the Smithsonian? Right. This, this was an a, 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 a evolution of uh, inks and printing and paper. This paper is made in Japan. It's handmade. The inks are handmade in China. And the printing process is an old process known as using an iris printer done by Cone Editions in Vermont. And so when people touch it now, you ask them to use gloves because you don't want the oil from your hands. C correct. This, this paper is hopefully forever. It will be bound into books. These are wow. th will be the size of the Audubon books of North um, the birds of North America. Well, thank you for giving us uh, a sneak peek at it. Tell us what we have behind us. Some of these, these are some of the pictures you took. First off, I don't know if you can see it a at home. You probably can't see the detail, but from, from where I'm sitting, is it a picture or is it a painting? This is a camera. This is the camera that I use to take the pictures. It's one of the finest cameras in the world. It, it almost looks like a video camera and a still camera together, but it's still, right? Well, the, the interesting thing is Hasselblad was the first camera on the moon. This is the first camera for Botanica Magnifica to take this kind of work. People uh, look at it and they say, it can't be a photograph, it's a, it's a painting. Well, this proves <laughs> this is a photograph. This is a 40, dig, uh, 40 uh, 39 uh, back with a, a 120 f4 macro lens. This is the camera that shot the work. And I'm curious, I tell us what we have behind us. For instance, the one, the one in the middle here. Um, this is a, a jade vine. Uh, this is from the Philippines. This is the first time that this picture has been uh, ad accurately taken in color. This was lying on the table of the Smithsonian Institute Director of Botany. In walks a big shot who thought he knew everything about botany and uh, said, that's the wrong color. And uh, the Director of Botany said, excuse me, sir, but this is the first time that this plant was ever taken in the right color. Wow. This camera is color perfect, and there's no, f I, this is all digital, and there's no film that can compete with this how process. Much, how much fun did you have doing this? Fun? Yeah. This is a passion. And Absolutely. so you, you, had, you had a blast. You're doing what you love to do, I'm and you're taking pictures of these do. beautiful, wonderful, almost extinct flowers. Right. Like this banana that you see on the left, it's, it's, uh, it's, every picture is taken unto itself to display its own characteristics. This was brought out of Thailand. It is a live specimen that was taken out by Dr. John Kress from the Smithsonian and shot as a live subject. This was from the Philippines, and the one behind me was taken in somebody's front lawn in New Jersey. Huh. It is oh, a, beautiful. it's called Queen of the Night. It's the most difficult plant to shoot. Well, you got it in New Jersey. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate you having you. Best of luck with this, and thanks for giving us a sneak peek. We appreciate it. And we've set up a link to Jonathan's Botanica Magnifica on our website. Go to 7